My name is Steve Hughes, and welcome to my channel. This is we've been doing COVID-19 coronavirus updates for weeks, and we're still in this uh, national stay-at-home shutdown, whatever you want to call it, situation. I know many of you out there are still running running appointments, and we're still considered an essential business in most states. And so, listen, I'll just put it right up front here to all of you that if you have a license, a life license, health license, both, whatever, you should be out there protecting families right now. People really want our coverage. I was looking on the internet still today. Is uh, Life insurance is still one of the number one uh, search terms out there, so take advantage of that. Go out there and protect families. I just got a few minutes ago to set an appointment for myself on Monday, and, uh, you know, there was a little bit of pushback on the face-to-face, uh, -face, but we can do, uh, you know, over-the-phone sales. Uh, virtual sales, web meetings, whatever you want to do. There's, there's just other, I would recommend doing that business long term, or I wouldn't have that business be a large part of your overall business because, quite frankly, the numbers just aren't in it. And uh, the persistency and placement rate, all that stuff really go down dramatically in telesales. I've been saying that for a long time, and that still hasn't changed. But in the time that we're in right now, uh, you know, it is an option that you can use to still see families. I will tell you that. You know, about 70% of our business, I'm looking at the numbers over here, uh, are still face-to-face. -face. Our, our average application, let me take a look at this real quick, I won't keep you waiting for the screen to share, so I'll just go ahead and set it up right now, or let me just do last month. Uh, you know, things are great in our industry right now. As I said before, you know, life insurance is an event-based business, and there's no greater event that would bring people's, uh, uh, you know, mortality into question and realize that they don't have the, uh, the, the final say-so than a global pandemic. Our average at, uh, premium per app, our APB is right at 1263. National average has been 1080 or 85 bucks a month for as long as I can remember. It's actually slightly up right now. And, uh, you know, our e apps have tripled. So that means we're doing, you know, a lot of uh, uh, electronic apps, a lot of carriers have gone to uh, non-face-to-face -face products that you can do e apps with. Uh, so again, you know, I, I would, uh, there's a lot of ways to earn income. Here's the great thing I think most people are missing is guys and gals, we're still working. So look, I, I try to put content up here every week. Uh, a lot of this is uh, mindset stuff, to, you know, because I think again, if you don't have, if you don't maintain a positive attitude in this business, um, I don't care how much skills that you have, you're not going to make it. You know, you got to keep this, this six inches between your two ears. In check, and I say it all the time. I told my team last night on a on a on a conference call that it's all about attitude, it's lead flow, and, and, and activity, and mindset, and maintain a positive attitude in how you deal with the current situation, and control what you can control. We there's a lot of things right now that we uh, seem out of control that we can't control. We can control our positive attitude and our activity, and each and every one of you have to decide. Whether or not you want to put yourself in that situation where you're going into people's homes right now. Many of you are not comfortable with that. I get it. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I've got, uh, you know, I don't have any kids at home anymore, but I do have a very brand new grandbaby that uh, just turned a month old yesterday. Uh, we're not letting a whole lot of people in our house either. Uh, but look, there's a lot of solutions for that. Get your own stool. Get your gloves. Get your mask. Sit outside. Sit on the porch. Meet in the park. You don't have to go in their home. Uh, but rarely will this opportunity come around again, you know, let's hope not anyway, where we again, we have an event that's driving the life insurance uh, awareness up. And so, and, and honestly, we're you know, on the front lines of this stuff. I don't, I don't see us in any different situation than the nurses, the RNs, the doctors. They're doing their job to keep people, uh, you know, get, get people healthy, keep people alive. Uh, we're making sure to protect in the event they do pass. And I think that, you know, I don't think one is better than the other. I think that most people want to make sure their families are taken care of while they're living uh, and uh, certainly taken care of whether when they pass. And I think this is a good time for all, all of us to, to kind of check our, ourselves, you know, get a checkup from the neck up, so to speak, right? And, uh, and, you know, and re, you know, commit as to why we're in this business in the first place and, uh, you know, Keep that in front of us. You gotta know your why. I've got two books at my desk right now. Uh, find your why, start your why with Simon Sinek. I mean, those that, you know, again, if you don't have this stuff right, uh, this kind of stuff that we're going through right now can kind of check your results whether or not you really want to be in this business and why you're in this business. You know, I've been in this business all my life because it gives me work life balance, it gives me time freedom. I can work my business around my family. I've had, you know,
you know, five children, nine grandkids. I mean, those those things are far more important to me than my business. I do my business to support them, right? And you can't be in any better business in the world, in my opinion. It's the, it's the best part-time opportunity on the planet, certainly full-time. You, you, uh, you build a tremendous amount of uh, uh, residual income. You get very high upfront commissions. If you want to build big C, you have that passive income. Remember, we don't want to be forced to build an agency, but we want to have that as an option. So uh, many of you are, again, I, I started to start to say here a minute ago, is that, you know, what, 20 million people are out of work right now, bottom for unemployment, not sure where, where their next paycheck is going to come from, not sure where they're going to, uh, you know, uh, feed their family or pay their work. I saw on the news last night, a, a lady owned her own business. She's got 30 days reserved. After that, she doesn't know what, we're, what she's going to do. Uh, all this national government free stimulus stuff and all that crap that they're giving away is great, but you know it's not a lot. And it's not enough to keep anybody sustained for a very long period of time. And if you own your own business, uh, you know it's a challenge to get that money quick enough to you know, to solve the landlord. People that are protecting the rent. And I see that in many states they don't have any landlord protection. So now your your business is closed. I saw one sad story where a lady had, had put uh, a savings account in a, in a jar or several jars for. You know, 10 or 15 years to finally open a restaurant, and they were open not even 90 days before he got shut down, and she's devastated. So, you know, if if you have a license, or if you even don't have a license, this is the time to get involved. Uh, we have we have great rates on the on the uh, on the licensing to get the free licensing done instead of paying over 200 dollars. Give me a call, shoot me a text, you know, send me an email, make a comment, and I'll give you a discount code uh, that you can get started for you know 30 bucks or less. So. Uh, you get that knocked out while you're sitting at home, so you're never going to be in this situation again. I love this statement. I talk about it all the time. It's so apropos right now, and that is, dig your well before you're thirsty, right? I mean, uh, we're blessed that we did that. We're blessed we did dig our well before we're thirsty, because our income really hasn't changed. In fact, our income has actually gone up in the last two or three weeks uh, as a result of the situation we're in. Many people can't say that. I don't say that these ragged noises are or arrogant or egotistical. I'm, I'm telling you that you know we're blessed that we took we, we saw you know we saw the, the 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 advantage of doing a business that paid us residual income so that someday that if we don't uh, want to work can't work let take care of a sick family member you know whatever it is we have income coming in so it's not totally reliant on us showing up every single day you know making a sale you know going in there clocking in the you know the time clock. Trade, trade, and you know dollars for hours. Then we have money coming in, and it's so it's so obvious right now why that is so important, and why we were blessed to see that very early on at age 23, 24 years old, and uh, and why I keep telling my agents and my team that you know focus on what matters. Remember why we all get in this business in the first place. We like people. We like helping people. We do get paid very, very well. So well, I'd be illegal. It's not, but it should be. You know, and and we also build residual income, and we have passive income. There's three types of income there. So I know you hear me talk about it all the time, but remember, when it comes down to what we do as a, as a career, what our job is, we've been invited into that person's home for one reason and one reason only. And what is that? Is to protect the mortgage if he or she doesn't come home because of a heart attack, car wreck. We don't want her, him, or the kids to have to move. If we always go into our appointment with that mindset and understanding, uh, you won't complicate it for the client. And right now, it's all about not complicating it, figure out what they, what they qualify for, share it with them, their options, and keep the focus on our client. You've heard me say this before. We do get paid very well. I don't ever know what I make on a case but before I go into home. I only want to know, is what I'm offering in their best interest? And down the road, obviously, after the policy is paid, did I get paid or issued? Right? Did I get paid? I don't. I don't analyze it by case by case because this interest has been very, very good to me. Right? And I hear, you know, a lot of agents that uh, that go into home with, uh, you know, uh, IULs, with, with our indexed uh, universal life policies, and yes, they're writing some huge premiums, right? But their closing ratios are terrible, ten to fifteen percent. And they're leaving a lot of money on the table, and, and they're leaving a lot of people unprotected because they didn't ask for IULs. If you're working a lead program, they ask for final expense, or they ask for mortgage session recovery. So go sit on that. Don't get caught up in that situation.
situation where you're trying to sell something of a much higher premium so that uh, you make a higher commission because you're going to walk away from a lot of sales. You're going to get if you do make a sale, it's going to get replaced because remember that's not what they asked for. Go in that hall and ask them. Uh, sorry, go in that hall and sell them. You know uh, the protection that they ask for, and do what's best for the client. And you can always go back in later and uh, with, with other options. But um, again, you walk away with a lot of stuff you don't do. That's kind of my my mentality on uh, on what's important right now in this industry is that for us to go out there and protect them. They don't need IULs right now. They might need them down the road. Right now, with this, this current situation, we got the, the doors kind of closing us here a little bit. I got articles on my desk here where. You know the insurance companies are, uh, you know, are, are threatened to stop even selling life insurance policies in some states if you become infected or if you even become exposed. You're you're put on hold for 30, 60, 90 days. You may not be able to get insurance for the foreseeable future, if ever, if you get infected. So there's a sense of urgency right now. If you have a license to get out there, get them some coverage. They can certainly change it later. And uh, you know, go out there and, and you know make sure they're that in, in, that they're in a situation where they get the coverage, coverage and get it, get it in place before uh, you know uh, this whole situation might change. It's changing daily, right? But we all, you know, so I, I get the higher premiums, I get the IUL sales. You know, I understand retirement planning. I get all that stuff. But if you work in the lead, if the leads never talk about retirement planning. They talk about what organization, bond expense, no exam coverage, and keep this business simple. Protect your mindset. Uh, figure out why you're in this business. What drives you every single day? I was on the phone with you this morning, it's Saturday. Um, I mean, I love this business. It's great. So again, I don't make a whole lot of, of uh, uh, open appeals on this channel. Uh, I don't think it's uh, you know it's, uh, it's it's necessary. I want to be able to, to help all of you, regardless of where you're at and what I owe you with. Uh, you know, obviously, I believe we're the best I know we would be here for 35 years. So, uh, in this industry, we kind of know what to look for, is what I'm saying. And uh, I really believe there's no, other, there's no better training on the market or even in the industry better than what we do here in our agency for our agents, making our agents better agents and, uh, and you know, looking at more as a partnership rather than a sign up deal. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for a place to go, if you if you're, if you're having got your license, I can certainly help you with that. If you already have your license, man, get in the action right now. Uh, you don't have to do, uh, do uh, you keep your social distance. You don't have to go in the home. You can take a, a, a chair with you, gloves and mask, and sit out in the front yard. But right now is the time we need to rise to the occasion to get out there and protect as many families as we can. I'll be back in a couple of days with some more thoughts on this COVID-19 coronavirus thing. Hopefully we're coming out. Is, is, I heard this morning that we may be at the beginning of the end. Um, or the end of the, at the end of the beginning, whichever one you want to look at, right? Uh, glass half full or half empty, uh, and that's good news. Um, but we have a job to do, and people need us out there. And we are an essential business in most states. If it's not that way in your state, get in the car and go to another state, or get on, you know get on an airplane if you can, and go there and take care of some families. If I can help you, you know how to get reach out to me. I would be remiss to say, look, the, you know the way YouTube promotes and shares information is if you're watching it, number one. Number two, you got to push that like button uh, down below here uh, because that means they know that the out their algorithms or how they figure that out is, is that you're watching the content, you like the content, and you give it a thumbs up means they're going to share it with other people that have similar interests as you and I do, right? Mash the subscribe button, hit that bell, uh, and you'll get instant notifications when I do live streams like this one right here, okay? And that would help me get the channel out, get everybody to get more people to, to participate and create a, a larger community. And for that, I would be grateful. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. But go out there and protect the family. Just be careful. Make gloves, mask, and a stool.